Goodbye lithium battery. China has started producing the world's first EV with sodium solid state battery. In 1991, the lithium ion battery changed the way we use batteries, but it has a lot of problems. It's expensive. Materials are hard to find and harmful to the environment. It doesn't work well in very hot or very cold weather and can sometimes even catch fire. Because of these problems, scientists and companies are looking for other types of batteries that might work better. One of these is the sodium solid state battery, which could be a solution. A company from China called Dongfeng wants to make electric cars that use this new kind of battery. Instead of lithium, they want to use sodium, which is cheaper and lasts a long time. So, how is this new car going to be? What difference would this solid state battery make? If you're interested to know, keep watching this video till the end. Right now, there are some batteries that are a bit like solid state batteries, but not completely. Dong Feng says it will have a real solid state sodium battery ready in just a few months and it won't be too expensive. This is surprising because usually new technology costs a lot. We don't know much about this new battery yet, but as Tesla and EV expert Sandy Munro said, when these batteries are in production, there will be no comparison between the current technology or anything petroleum-based. Solid state is the kiss of death for gasoline and diesel. According to carnewschina.com, this automaker has recently introduced a new brand of vehicles known as NAMI. The website reports that the company intends to create compact electric vehicles powered by sodium solid state batteries and aims to achieve 400,000 units in sales each year. This is the first time an electric car will use a solid state battery, and it's even more special because it's a sodium battery. NAMI is a name that means nanometer in Chinese, and they added an extra M to make it NAMI, which stands for me. This means that they want to focus on making cars that are good for individuals. They want to make small electric cars because more people are living in cities, and they care about the environment. Dong Feng said NAMI EVs will use the first national pure electric architecture, but this raised questions since other Chinese state-owned companies like SIAC and FAW already have similar platforms. This might be more about making people like them than having better technology. They want to make electric cars that regular people can afford, which is a big deal in the electric car world. The car, when it's finished, will have 17-inch wheels and a big 12-inch touchscreen inside. The front engine of the car boasts 163 horsepower. Sources about NAMI indicate that it will be able to add 200 kilometers to its battery range in just 8 minutes of charging. Consequently, achieving a 200 kilometer increase in range in only 8 minutes is truly impressive. While it may not represent the groundbreaking improvement that we had hoped for from solid state technology, it's certainly a promising big Beginning. NAMI stands out due to its innovative use of cutting-edge technology, specifically solid-state batteries. These batteries represent a breakthrough in electric vehicle power storage, offering superior energy density, faster charging capabilities, and enhanced safety due to their solid electrolyte design. Solid-state batteries are often considered the holy grail of EV power sources, as they can address industry challenges like limited range and long charging times, while being less prone to fires when compared to lithium-ion batteries. Concerns about the safety of electric vehicles have been raised by some, possibly due to stories they've heard or read about EVs catching fire or exploding as a result of battery issues. However, it's important to note that many of these stories are often exaggerated or misleading. In reality, EVs are no more dangerous than conventional gasoline or diesel-powered cars. It's true that under extreme conditions, a lithium-ion battery can undergo a chemical reaction if it gets too hot or too full, potentially resulting in gas release and heat Heat, which could lead to a fire or explosion. However, this doesn't mean that EVs are inherently hazardous. In fact, studies have shown that EVs are not more prone to catching fire than traditional cars. According to a report from the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, in 2018, there were only 0.1 fires per billion miles traveled by EVs compared to 0.2 fires per billion miles traveled by gasoline cars. Similarly, a study by the UK Department for Transport, or DFT, found that in 2019, there were 0.6 fires per 1,000 EVs, compared to 1.8 fires per 1,000 gasoline cars. 
These statistics suggest that EVs are actually safer than gasoline cars when it comes to fire risk. The introduction of solid-state batteries eliminates fire concerns altogether. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries do not rely on liquid electrolytes that can leak or ignite. Instead, they use stable and durable solid materials. This means that solid-state batteries are not flammable at all. By equipping the first NAMI vehicle with this advanced battery technology, Dongfeng is positioning itself as a forward-thinking player in the electric vehicle market. Now, let's delve further into NAMI's plans. Looking ahead, the Dongfeng NAMI brand has outlined an ambitious strategy for the years 2023 to 2025. They intend to launch their first model by the end of this year, specifically in quarter four of 2023. This suggests that their market entry is imminent. In 2024, NAMI aims to expand its product range by introducing one to two new models, and by 2025, the brand plans to launch two additional models in the domestic market during a special launch event. NAMI has introduced its latest model, the NAMI 01, which is set to hit the market in late of 2023. This compact electric hatchback has garnered attention with some internet users drawing comparisons between it and the smart number one, sparking discussions about similarities and originality. While there are indeed some design resemblances, it's important to emphasize that the NAMI 01 possesses its own unique exterior aesthetic. The NAMI 01 does share certain design elements with the Smart Number 1, but it stands out with its distinctive headlights and taillights. Additionally, it boasts intriguing features such as retractable door handles, enhancing its sleek profile. The floating roof not only adds to its visual appeal, but also contributes to improved aerodynamics. However, specific dimensions of the NAMI 01 have not been disclosed at this time. Stepping inside the NAMI 01, you'll find a modern and tech-savvy interior. A standout feature is the large floating screen, serving as the car's infotainment center, offering access to a variety of features and functions. The steering wheel sports a unique two-spoke design for a futuristic touch. Complementing the modern cockpit is a small LCD instrument panel providing essential driving information. Notably, the gear shifter is positioned behind the steering wheel, ensuring an ergonomic and driver-focused layout. NAMI has has paid attention to interior comfort and luxury, with leatherette accents on the center console and door panels, elevating the overall cabin ambiance. The center tunnel features a wireless phone charging pad, catering to the connectivity needs of today's drivers. It's worth noting that this is a pre-production version of the NAMI 01, so the mass production model may use more cost-effective materials in some areas. The NAMI 01 is built on an innovative electric platform, marking a significant advancement in its capabilities. This platform enables the NAMI 01 to offer Level 2 or L2 active driving assistance features, enhancing driver safety and convenience. These features include technologies like Automatic Emergency Braking, or AEB, to prevent collisions and automatic parking functions that simplify tight spot parking. Under the hood, the NAMI 01 is equipped with a single electric motor delivering an impressive 163 horsepower. This electric powertrain promises agile performance and a smooth, emission-free driving experience. What truly sets this car apart is its sodium solid-state battery. According to NAMI, this specific battery can recharge up to 200 kilometers of driving range in just 8 minutes, a remarkable feat in the electric vehicle industry. Furthermore, the NAMI 01's solid-state battery supports an external discharge function similar to vehicle-to-load or V2L technology. This feature allows the car to act as a power source, supplying electricity to external devices or even other vehicles when needed. It can prove incredibly useful in various situations, from camping trips to serving as an emergency power backup. NAMI has shared some exciting information about their new battery, but they haven't given us all the technical details. It's important to know that NAMI's parent company, Dongfeng, has tested a similar battery in their Aeolus E70 sedans. In those tests, the battery was pretty good, with an energy measure of 157 watt-hours per kilogram, and it came from a famous company called Gongfeng Lithium. However, we're not sure if this exact battery will be used in the NAMI 01. NAMI says it will also be very efficient, about 86%, and it will last a long time time. One cool thing about sodium ion batteries is that they work really well in very cold places like Alaska or high up areas that get a lot of snow. This is a big advantage to think about. 
Tattle Cherry, BYD, and other companies are adopting sodium ion batteries for electric cars due to cost saving advantages over lithium. However, sodium ion batteries face challenges in energy density, efficiency, and lifespan. Scientists are addressing these issues. Sodium ion batteries could replace lithium ion fluorophosphate or LFP in some applications, but various lithium battery types, such as LMFP, will remain essential in the electric vehicle market. Battery technology will improve gradually, not revolutionizing everything at once. So, are sodium batteries the future of electric vehicles? What other innovations do you want to learn about? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting tech updates. Thanks for watching.